Hello everyone and welcome back to Sonic 3 and Knuckles, I'm the Sheep Sheep and Daniel and today we're going to be continuing on with Knuckles' story as we're going to be moving onwards in Carnival Night Zone. Oh, Now a lot of people hate this place because of the barrels that are in the place and trust me the barrels, as much as I, as much as annoyance as they are, that's not the reason why I hate this zone. Oh no, 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 no. They're part of the reason why I hate this zone. If two really elaborate bits, this zone is very. Although I do like that section, but uh, this zone is very, very, very awkward to navigate. Extremely frustrating because you got bumpers everywhere. You got actually, I like that part as well. But you get bumpers everywhere. You got just general nonsense annoyances like that. They really just ruin things. It's not nice. Although I like the bannix and I do like a couple of things here and there. Like I like the graphics. I mean, it's all shiny, it's all graphically nice and all. I absolutely detest the music. This is not music, this is carnival music if it was butchered or something. It's not, this isn't good music, guys. I don't, I don't care what any, actually, some people might like it, but it's, all in all, this zone's not for me. Now, these, these bannocks, the bloody bats, are just like every bat in every game ever. They're pain in the ass. You want to kill them quickly and effectively because they are going to be a nuisance. Anyway, those little platforms are like as well. You can basically jump on them and as you jump on them, they basically jump up. But Carbonite Zone will be actually a very quick zone to go past in this version of the game, though, folks. Knuckles doesn't have much to do here, so as a result, you don't have to worry. But as with Sonic's story, this boss by here, as you can probably see, you're going to want to, well, hit him once and leave his uh, his little cylinder top spinning thingy hit him. But the boss is really pathetically easy, just like Sonic's story. Actually, I think I beat him quicker here. Like, anyway, like I said, this zone is going to be very, very quick to go by. Although Act 2 is slightly longer, I believe, but that's simply because I tend to die a lot in Act 2 just because of stupid things. Like, one example I'm talking about is when I was doing the, the practice session. Running along, just mind my own business, happy as a Larry, and then suddenly I land on spikes. Oh no, what's it? that shouldn't be too big a deal, I have rings. But no, the spikes crushed me because I landed in between a barrel and the wall, and the barrel landed in in between me and the wall and I was, I was so annoyed. But one thing you might be able to notice from here as well from Sonic Story is that the, all the water, gone. There's no water anymore, folks. That's either a good or bad thing depending on how you think about the water. I don't... I went, that's the wrong way, Knuckles. I don't particularly mind, so... Either way, there's a lot of uh, tubes and stuff and you're basically going to speed pass through this entire level really quickly. You don't have... No! That's the, that's the, that's the culprit right below there. That exact spot is where I died last time. The exact same way. Screw this level. Screw Carnival Night Zone. I hate it. <sighs> okay, calm down. Calm down. At least it's got some nice, um, it's got some nice speed sections at least. So that's a, that's a good thing. See, I'm not completely negative. I'm just saying I really despise this zone. And I'm never generally negative with games. I usually go like I'm usually like the most unbiased person when it comes to games. I'll always take a game at their own strengths. Like hell, I can even get enjoyment out of Sonic 06, which, tr truth be told, is an abysmal game. I can't, it's not two ways about it. It's an abysmal game. Of course, there's also Shadow the Hedgehog, which. It Oh, I swear to God, if I died there, I don't even know how I survived, but thank you, game, there is a god. The electric shield is very useful against these bandits by here, because obviously they're electric-powered, and electricity attacks won't hurt you if you've got an electric shield. Anyway, as I was saying, Shadow the Hedgehog, I I really think Shadow the Hedgehog is actually quite... Thank you, god. Anyway, Shadow the Hedgehog is quite an underrated game, actually, I have to say. I'll get into why I think that when I get to the LP. Not that it doesn't have problems. Oh my, it has a lot of problems. And it is one of the worst games out there still. But it's still not as bad as people say. It's still enjoyable. Then you have the Sonic Heroes, which I don't understand why people like it. So, I don't know. Maybe I've just warped... I maybe just have warped opinions on these games. 
Anyway, oh god, 50 rings, as long as... Actually, this is the last stress now, so... Whee! Dimps-tastic level design here, oh yes, okay. But, yeah, no boss here, folks, that's it, we're done. This That's the end of Carnival kind of Night Zone. Knuckles' version goes by really quickly, as long as you don't get crushed. Fucking barrels. <laughs> I hate that zone! But... Fortunately, fortunately, I'm happy now, folks, because we're going to my favorite zone in this half of the game, which is going to be the ice cap. And don't ask why there's a teleporter here that leads to a snowy base in the middle of the island. Really, don't ask. I don't know. Knuckles installed these stuff years ago, maybe, just to get around? I don't know. You would assume he has a lot of spare time on his hands, considering he has to protect this island, and there's not really too much to do here, so... Actually, I heard that, um, like, in the, I remember in the old, um, Sonic the Comics, you, and, actually, I don't know much about the Archie comics, I never really, I never had the Archie comics over here, I always picked up the Sonic the Comic book, which is a brilliant comic, actually, I, it's a shame they no longer, they discontinued after a while. I remember I was so upset after the final issue of that, because I was still quite young when those were uh, ending, and I really did enjoy him. But anyway, as I was saying, Basically, from what I remember in the instruction manual and the comics of the, and whatnot, basically Knuckles puts traps and stuff around the island, so, like, that's probably why. Although, meet the Penguinator, by the way. Best bad nick e name ever. Those penguins are amazing. Now, that spring, don't bother going up there, because that leads to a sonic path that you can't actually traverse through as Knuckles. You're basically going to want to go through here and... I didn't want to transform and go through here. Now those spikes, no matter what, those spikes will hurt you. But if you're Knuckles, you can s you'll be able to. Chances are you'll be able to bounce back onto that platform where I just got that lightning shield from. Which if you're lucky, and if you get that lightning shield, well, you're sorted. And if you have super form, good 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 luck to anyone that comes near you because they're dead. Because obviously, look at you. You don't have to worry about anything. Now. One thing, I'm gonna. You don't have to do this while playing as Knuckles, but I advise you to go up here and push this boulder out the way, too. So, because inside this boulder, there's actually a spring. So it'll basically be faster to take this than it would just to go down here the second time and climb up the wall that you need to. So, as you can tell, that spring wasn't there normally. You had to climb it. Anyway, let's just spin dash down here. For the most part, this stage is pretty much identical to Sonic Story. It's Act 2 that gets pretty different, I believe. And even then, the second half of it's pretty much the same deal as Act 1. Now, these springs, as I probably explained in the original LP, they're very tricky to get through because... I don't know, I've always had an issue. Basically, the key to getting... Oh god. The key to getting past these springs here is basically jumping as you hit them. But as you can probably tell, you can't get up there. So, this, well, how do you get through? Well, there's this wall down here you're meant to break through. Which will lead to the alternate path, which also leads into the Knuckles exclusive Act 2. Which, quite simply, is down here. Now the boss fight is exactly the same as Sonic, so the only difference is you can't use the Insta Shield. So what you're going to want to really do is hide in the corners until he throws all his ice balls away. Me being super form, I don't have to worry about that because I'm super form. I can just bounce into him until he dies. So... Yeah, if you have super form, take advantage of that, but otherwise stay to the left or right of the screen if you're not in super form and wait for the perfect opportunity to attack. To attack. To, to, to attack. To attack. And that's all I can say. Anyway, with that, that's Act 1 complete. And it's time to tackle Act 2. Finish this act then and I'll call it a video, actually. That's a very weak spring. I'm surprised it didn't give me one of those red springs. Some, for those of you who don't know, the springs actually have different properties depending on the color. The yellow springs are actually weaker, and the red springs will... Well, they're stronger, as you can probably guess, because... Every time... as I, Obviously, because I mentioned, the yellow springs are weak, so obviously... The red ones are strong. Anyway, if you go in the water with the electric shield, basically... You, you, you lose your shield, but every enemy that's in the water will die, so that's a good thing. But by you, be very careful. This is a platforming sequence that um, has a very long drop into a bottomless pit. If you fall into the bottomless pit, it's going to be a bit of a drop before you game over. Well, not game over. Until you die. So, um... Word to the wise. 
don't drop into the bo bottomless pit. Take your time and just make a three. Make your three. Make a way through the level as quickly and as, as fun as possible. Now, if you can gain enough speed, you can actually skip through this and head directly to the Sonic's portion of the level. But every time I've done this so far, I failed to make gain enough speed to get up to Sonic's portion. But I know it's possible. Like this ramp by here, if you can gain enough speed, you'll end up on Sonic's portion. Of course, Sonic can go through this section as well, but honestly, why would you? It's precision platforming, for God's sake. But for the sake of being different, I'll show it off regardless. I'm not going to bother trying to jump up that ramp. And of course, you have to glide and climb up the wall as Knuckles to get up there, because obviously he hasn't got high enough jump. But with that, I'm pretty sure we're getting close to... Well, we're getting close to the end of the level. So, don't hit those Robotnik boxes. As some of you probably know, those Eggman boxes there, they... Well... You'll lose your rings if you jump into them. So do not hit them. At all costs. They are bad. Eggman's face equals no-no. I remember when Eggman used to be called Robotnik. Ah, good times. Good times. I'm thinking... I'm not sure. Is he still called Robotnik in the comics now? In the Archie comics? Because, like I said, I, didn't, I never followed the Archie comics. It was all about the Fleetway Sonic the comics. So... And who knows? Oh god, mess up. Uh, do I want to bot? Actually, no, screw it. I'll be fine. If you go up there, there's a secret ring you can take, which will obviously give you extra ringage. Which could be useful in the upcoming boss, because the upcoming... That was close. The upcoming boss fight is pretty um, pretty tricky. Because, obviously, he'll, he'll freeze you. Now, it's really... He has got a script, and I don't remember the difference between Sonic and Knuckles' version of this. I think the difference is basically... Yeah, that's right, that's the difference, the... Oh god, good, good, d No! Oh god, I th I'm gonna die. Yeah, I'm dead. But the difference is, the platform will actually move up and down, so... Yes! Be careful. Be very careful. Alright, let's try this again. Okay, just... No, 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 I know what I'm doing. Screw it, I'm going in with super form. I, I don't want to fight that thing. That's an annoying, annoying, obnoxious boss. That's... I feel sorry for anyone if they have to do it. There we go. Simples. Right up here, and there's the ring. Now, normally, I, I have fe I have beaten that boss before without super form, but for the sake of getting things on with the LP, because this is this part's over time already. Well, it's been over time since I beat Act One, so yeah, I I much rather get this over the way quickly so I can get into the next zone. Boom. But anyway, but this boss fight very, very tricky. You'll shoot ice. If your ice hits you, well, you'll die. After so many hits, you lose this thing. Is you lose his bottom platform, which arguably makes the boss easier. So once you get to that phase, you don't have to worry. Anyway, with that, that's Ice Camp Zone Act Two completed. All right. And with that. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you enjoyed, appreciate it. Like a comment to the video. And I'll catch you all next time when we tackle Launch Base Zone and finish off the first half of the game. So I'll see you then. Bye!